So our modifieds rolling onto the track with a special car in the front of the line. Our modifieds paired up for their feature race today. But we have the 33 car, Ron Bryant, leading the way. Driven by his cousin Cecil Bryant, his crew chief. He says he's his cousin, but more like a brother. We'll talk to him in just a moment. But when the modifieds get out here onto the front stretch, we're going to turn the lights off on the pace truck. And we'll have our staff step back a little bit, if they would please. But uh, we're going to have lights off on the pace truck. And next time around, we're going to give the group the green flag and do a ceremonial green-white checker finish for the 33 car of Ron Bryan to be assisted by all of his fellow race drivers here in the Napa Modified Division. Ron passed away two weeks ago at the age of 47 after racing Saturday night here at West Cassidy. He passed away not too long afterwards on Sunday morning. A beloved member of the West Cassidy Speedway family and again, we'll talk more about him when we get down into victory lane in just a moment, but... It'll go lights out here on the front stretch for the pace truck. by people that came through the gates here at Wiscasset Speedway, always thinking of others. Matter of fact, on the night that he fell ill two weeks ago, I was told he wanted to be able to stay and start his feature so the rest of his competitors in his division would get their full scale payout for that night. Again, one of the great thoughtful things about that uh, made up Ron Bryant. So green flag will go here to the 33 and the rest of the pack. And another thing that we all love here at Wisconsin Speedway as well, always looking out for that big green bus to come rolling through the gates. Most of these drivers either bring in their cars on open trailers or these nice, big, enclosed haulers. Ron and his family traditions racing team were old school. They rode in on a bus. They had that car in the back of an old school bus, painted bright green with purple trim. And the best part of that bus was what was printed on the back of it, which uh, a lot of us should learn from. It had a big smiley face on the back of the bus with the words, be happy, go racing. And although he never got the thrill of a checkered flag here at Wiscasset Speedway, he kind of knew what he was up against. He didn't have the best of equipment. He didn't have the most experience, but he probably had the most fun. His best career finish here at Wisconsin was a fourth place run last year. A couple of other top fives, but never, unfortunately, got to experience the thrill of victory lane here at Maine's fastest track. Tonight, while he's not here with us, we will all welcome him and the 33 car here to victory lane today. So as we do with any 
racer here at Wiscasset Speedway coming through turn four for the final time. Folks, please stand up and welcome the 33 car to Victory Lane. As we remember Ron Bryan. Victory Lane, the rest of the Modifieds will line up here on the front stretch. The rest of the Modifieds will line up here on the front stretch for Spotlight Feature Introductions. We will meet Cecil down at Victory Lane to be able to say a few words and thank you fans. And this time, uh, as soon as the Modifieds, as soon as the Modifieds uh, get parked here on the front stretch, the members of the Wiscasset Speedway staff, as well as many of the other drivers and race teams will come out here and join us on the track and give a final victory lap wave off for the 33. And then we'll get tonight's race action underway, our feature action underway. Uh, a special day, an unfortunate day we did not want to look forward to here at Wiscasset Speedway. Um, as I was explaining, uh, first of all folks, this is Cecil Bryan right here. This is Ron's crew chief, his cousin, and, and uh, you put it very well, you, his brother more than anything. Um, as I said, this is a day that none of us wanted to see. We don't want to see us lose any of our, our special family here at Wiscasset Speedway. And uh, as I was talking while you were going around the track, um, Ron knew, you knew, that this car wasn't going to win any races here at Wiscasset. You guys had to be here for the right reason. You had to be here for fun. You had to be here for the love of doing this sport. Um, talk a little bit about Ron's passion for this place and just being in the race car. You know, every week we've been in a lot of time in the car, and we knew we weren't we, we were trying. We were building a new car. But it was important for Ron to be here, for the fans, for the track, and to support our other drivers. And, uh, you know, it, it meant more to him to be out on the track and ride behind everybody than it did to be in one. And, and one thing a lot of people might not know is because of our handicap system, Ron was eligible to start in the front row nearly every race, but he always jumped right to the back and, and said, let these guys go get it. Oh yeah, that was an argument we got into every week. I tried to get him started in the front more often. He just didn't want to do it. He wanted to ride the back. He wanted to let everybody else fight him. And another special thing about Ron, um, he always took a lot of time to mentor some of the younger drivers, drivers like Jake Hensby and Spencer Vaughn and, and some of the other young drivers. Um, what were some of the things that he passed on to them? You know, he, he, he passed on a lot of things. He, he had a lot of respect for other drivers. And I think please pass that on to them. They have a lot of respect for all the other drivers. And they're more than willing to help out anybody. And that's just how he was. He was more than willing to go into somebody else's pit and help them out and get them through the race. Absolutely, and I know he was very instrumental in helping to uh, get the four-cylinder pro division started here at Wiscasset. 
Yeah, yeah he's he a big supporter of those. Um, he raced them a long time ago, back when they were in the Allison Legacy Tour. And he came here a few times, and I don't remember if he got a victory lane here or not, but I'm pretty sure he did get there one time. All right, uh, and obviously a lot of members of the family here today. Uh, wife Kim, daughter Shelby, the rest of the family. Um, any final words you want to say on behalf of the, the family? We'd like to thank everybody here, all the fans, all the, all the track support um, from all the officials, Richard, Vanessa, everybody here has been great. It's been huge support for all of us and we really appreciate everything that everybody's done for us. Absolutely, so um, again, we want to thank, you know, this has been a very tough couple of weeks for all of you. You've all had, held your heads high and uh, you got some good memories of a really, really great man. Um, he will always be here with us at Wisconsin Speedway, I promise you that. All right, folks, one final time, a nice round of applause. Whoa. Not a final time. I have one more special guest who wants to say something. This is uh, Ron's wife, Kim. I just want to thank everybody for coming out today to support Ron and our family. This is a special place, and this would not happen at just any racetrack around the world. This happens here. And when um, we found out about this situation, knowing that this track was family to my husband and, and to us, um, that was a really special thing. And having all of our family and friends here and all of our racing family here is extremely special. So thank you very much for that. All right, thank you, God bless. All right, folks, we're gonna send off the 33 car here with one last victory lap and a wave off from all you good people out on the track. Uh, if you haven't made a chance, had a chance to get out on the track to join us, you still have a moment, but uh, please come on out here to the track and uh, give the 33 car one final wave off. Actually, our modified drivers wanted to have a group picture here with the 33 car as well, so just indulge us for that. We'll have our victory lap for the 33.
place from the coast. Thank you very much for helping us make this a special day for a special man, Mr. Ron Bryant, and for this family as well. Thank you very much. And as we said, Ron Bryant will always be a part of this Cassidy's team.